Hello everyone. So today I'm going to be doing a recreation to these nails that I did about eight years ago when I was in a manicure school girlfriend. I can't believe <laughs> I used to think my nails were bomb as fuck and everything. And now when I look at them, I'm like, girl, those things are ugly. So if you want to see how these recreation nails came out or how I did them, Please keep watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my little channel, bitch. Give me a little like and leave me a little comment. So I'm going to be using these new XXL um, Coffin Seat Curve Tips along with this new color number 111 and cover pink nude. Um, I'm also going to be using number 1 from my website, which is the white color. And my smooth set monomer, I already went ahead and did one of the little Frenchies because I was like, girlfriend, this video is going to be super, super long. So let me just kind of get a couple of the details in because if not, I said todo na pincha hora and I don't think I could talk that long. So I um, decided to do um, just a nude with no glitter. In the picture, I can't tell. I don't know if you guys could tell but the little French had glitter and I'm not gonna do it exactly the same because Valentine is over and I did those nails on myself for like Valentine's Day I still remember when I did those nails I was in class like literally I did those nails on in school and I thought I was a badass bitch or whatever you know so normally whenever I do Frenchies I like to focus um my first bead where the nail tip meets the natural nail and depending on how long your nail is is how big of a french you want to do because i feel like if you have some long ass nails and you have a little french that shit looks fucking ugly but that's my opinion so when i started doing nails um, the lady who kind of would be like teaching me kind of a little in class she'll be like oh see sí. um el técnico de, ver de reversa es para alargar la almendra de la uña que no sé qué tanto and i'm like ¿Qué, qué, 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 qué? so pretty much what this is is like if you are a nail biter or you have short nail beds and you just want to create an illusion of you having a longer nail bed this is what you would do you do your frenchie first and then the the tip so these are cover colors which mean that they can cover up your natural nail i don't really like the look of the really transparent ones because you will be able to see your nail underneath so it defeats the purpose of a french in my opinion so if you're ever going to do this technique in spanish they call it la tecnica de reversa because they start at the french first you want to use a color that is a little bit more opaque and not transparent. And I believe all the nails were Frenchies except the ring finger. But like my little manita does not have a hand. I mean a thumb. I didn't have to do a fifth one. I mean I didn't have to do the thumb. Make sure that whenever you are doing Frenchies you want to. Be patient because these are kind of difficult to make. I mean, I've always struggled with them. I fucking hate doing them. Like, it's like, girlfriend. My clients be like, I'm going to bring something simple today. I'm going to get just French. And I'm like, just, bitch. That shit takes fucking forever. Like, I had a client once so she was like, oh, don't worry, Zelay. I'm going to be super simple today. And then she shows me the picture and they're V French. And I'm like, no mames, wave. you're trying to be in a hurry today, that's the worst set to choose, girl. Because normally lo que se ve simple is not easy. Like, people think, oh, just because it's a French, a V French or whatever, it looks super simple. But most of the time, simple is fucking hard, bitch. So I was like, girl, okay, whatever. So when I was like halfway doing her nails or whatever, because I was trying to make it as perfect as I could. She was like, I, if I would have known it was going to take this long, I would have chose something else. I'm like, girl, well, now you know. You want the other hand different? <laughs> but now, I mean, I kind of enjoy them a little bit more, but I still hate them. I hate them. But it looks nice in the end, so 
I guess one or two don't hurt nobody. Let me know in the comments if you fucking hate these or you love these. Do you like doing French French tip, whether it's round or a V French? My favorite is ombre. To me, ombre is a piece of cake. But French, girlfriend, I'd rather paint them. So this one is going to be ombre. I did notice that in the picture, the original photo that I did, um, it was also a French. But I was like, girl, with all them flowers I'm going to be doing, ni se va a ver el pinche French. So why am I going to do that? I decided to just do an ombre. And um, so whenever you want to do an ombre, you want to start by half of the nail. And I did kind of do this one a little bit more than half. Um, because the nail was a little long long and um, I just wanted more pink than nude because in the picture I did have like a French and it was not that much nude so I was like okay then I'm gonna keep the same and I remember back then when ombres were like new this guy my client's boyfriend was like does that girl not know how to do like the line he meant like the defined line in the French and I was like, the fuck? Me and the, my client were laughing because we're like, bitch, shut the fuck up, okay? This is ombre, not a French. <laughs> this shit was too funny, but um, I was like, well, at least your man pays attention, girlfriend, because other boys don't be paying attention. So this is my favorite, favorite nude right now because it's not pink, but it's not brown. It's like natural. I love it. I've been using it in every set. So, girl brain is going to be our favorite on the little channel. I'm also using my Zule Kalinsky number 16, just in case somebody's going to ask. Because I did post this little clip on Instagram, and somebody was like, What brush are you using? And I was like, girl brain, it's in the caption, honey. But I guess some people don't really look at that. So, let me tell you now, girl brain, is number 16. I can't wait to do my nails, because... My nails are hella ugly right now, but um, I've been letting my pinky heal a little bit. So, just in case you guys are like, what the fuck happened to your nails, girlfriend? Yeah, Patrick hit me in my pinky, and it's healing. So, maybe in a couple days, I will put it back on. So, for the pinky, I decided to put the white part first. Um, I don't remember what the, the picture looked like. I think I did it like this. But I do alternate the fingers. I didn't want to do the same thing. Because I was like, you know what? That's fucking boring. Back in the day, it was common to do all fucking nails the same. Like, you, no se miraba tanto that you would switch it up. But you know what, girlfriend? I'm not normal, so I like to switch it up. And the line doesn't have to be perfect. I did do it a little diagonal. Um, I didn't really mind if it was not straight because i'm gonna be doing uh animal print the zebra print on it and then i'm going to put bling on where the division of the two colors are so girl if you ever recreate this make don't kill yourself if it's not perfect just as perfect as possible and i feel like the imperfections kind of make the the design look even better so this one I was like, ooh, girl, what if I put a little bit of white on both ends and then I do the pink in the center because the pink does have the zebra print. I was like, ooh, that would be cute. So I was super inspired with this set because back in the day, eight years ago, girlfriend, animal print was popping and I love animal print. I did animal print so much that I was fucking bummed. Now, when I did this one, I was like, girl, I'm a little rusty. What you gonna see? I'm using my new um, gel gel paint and my long liner. And I was like, ay, Diosito, por favor, que me salga bien, because I haven't done this shit in a long time. But it came out pretty good, girlfriend. So pretty much what I do when I do, like, little zebras, I do like squiggly lines they don't have to be straight because then it doesn't look like it's flowing it just looks like a straight line so whenever I do the line I start out straight and then I kind of squiggle it a little and then I try to make like little connections like a triangle and then put another one in the middle well just watch and you'll see what I mean 
and um i think i kind of overflowed the lines i should have done a little bit less or made them a little thicker but oh well i thought they still looked pretty cute so i decided to draw the lines before i encapsulate only because i feel like it gives it a better look and um i just like what they look like inside when they're encapsulated so after i draw all the little zebra prints i'm gonna put this in the lamp and cure it for one minute and then i'm gonna go ahead and start encapsulating all my nails with clear acrylic so right here i just wanted to show you that i'm wiping the nail because if you do not like wet the nail a little bit and well my heater was on so i didn't want to have any air bubbles and so whenever the heat the temp i mean the temperature is a little bit hotter sometimes if you apply too much acrylic especially the clear one you will notice that there's more air bubbles inside of your nail either air bubbles or whatever bubbles um, so I was like, okay, girlfriend, let me wipe it a little bit so that I don't have those because my nails need to be looking bomb. Even though this bitch is fake, she ain't going nobody. I mean, she ain't going nowhere. Nobody gonna see her. But still, we need a nice, nice picture for the gram. Y pal YouTube, you know? So, um, whenever I do long nails, you need to make sure that you apply extra acrylic, bitch. No sas pinche coda la verga que you don't want your clients not to fucking break so right here i'm showing you guys after i encapsulated all the nails um these are c-curve nail tips bitch Ooh, honey they look so sexy so right now i'm just gonna file them but i do not show that because i don't want to waste your time and right here i am using the labeling adhesive with my little pickup tool and i'm just gonna add a couple little dots where i'm going to be doing my little florecitas and I didn't zoom into the nail a lot right now because I didn't want to like not record this process and oh honey yeah I have me a secret activator in stock again after like a couple months so if you guys have been waiting on that girlfriend it's available now on my website and I'm gonna be using the same acrylics that I used on the base of the nail for the 3d flowers so I decided to do them um, pink and white and this is my um, Zulay number no. 2 brush. On my previous video where I did my sister's nails, I accidentally showed the wrong brush. Um, I think I showed that I was using number 4 because that was my intention. But then I was like, girl, for smaller petals, I like to use number 2 because the bigger the brush, the bigger the bead you pick up. And then I don't want to make them too bulky. So that's why I decided to go for number 2. So for this style of flower, I like to use number two brush. And then for the, like roses or sunflowers, I'll either use number four or number six. And because 3D does take a little bit longer to dry, I try to put another petal so that one could start drying me while I press the other one, you know? That way you could like not take too long. So that's a little tip, bitch. I remember... Cuando apenas empecé a hacer uñas, I used to love doing this style. I kind of feel like I'm going to end up doing me like a throwback style también. Like I used to love the flowers, the animal print, the bling, the little designs. Just giving me like my ratchet nail vibes days. Now, I mean, my nails are still ratchet now, but I don't know. The style was just totally different back then. Let me know in the comments if you used to wear your nails like this before. Or if you were like a basic ass bitch your whole life or what? Like did you get your zebra print on or what? <laughs> and what print do you prefer? Do you like zebra print or do you like cheetah print or leopard or whatever print? Um, I like them both. But I prefer cheetah print. I kind of wanted to do cheetah print on this but I was like no. I'll save that one for another video. I have so many videos that I want to do but bitch doesn't have enough time. So please... Please, if you suggested a video already, like I know I have to do one with lace that somebody requested. Don't think I forgot. I just don't got any lace right now, girlfriend. But I will get to the fucking video. Um, another one that somebody requested was a shaping video. Um, I need to do that one too.
All right, so ahora es the time for the lines. This is what I was talking about before that. This was the style that I used to do a lot before, where you make like little boxes. Why start off by making all the lines going the same direction? Now, bitch, I always struggle to do this porque me tiembla la pinche mano, la verga. So what I learned in the past is to use your pinky to kind of like... um stabilize yourself i guess so it doesn't like shake so i use my pinky and i i hold on to my client's finger or my finger and that's how i prevent myself from like shaking all over because i'd be shaking like a little leaf and shit but i do pretty good and then also i hold my fucking breath because then no si no me va a salir toda chueca y zigzag la, la line so if you struggle with making lines you should definitely try that and this liner brush helps too because the pelito is like really long. Um, I've never really been good at drawing lines. But these, for some reason, I could kind of draw pretty good. And um, I end up carrying this in the lamp for one minute when I'm finished. Because I'm going to put bling on. I think I was going to do it inside the little boxes. Because I used to do both ways. But then I decided, nah, I'm going to do on the little intersections of the lines so right here I'm gonna be adding the little diamonds like I did mention I'm putting them right here I was like oh I'm gonna put it in the little box but then I'm like nay I'm gonna put it in the little intersection of the gel because that way it's easier for me to put the top coat when I go around the bling so sometimes you kind of have to think in advance like bitch was gonna be easier or you can also put the top coat first and then at the bling but I feel like the bling just sticks a lot better when you add it directly to like acrylic um even though this one is kind of sitting on top of gel polish but it just still touch the the acrylic so I feel like it's gonna stick really well and these little crystals are not Swarovski, girlfriend. Do you see the little sparkle, sparkle? Yes, honey. I'm doing my homework over here, getting you guys the good goods before they do not sell to us anymore. Talking about Swarovski, I am going to get my new shipment and I'm going to be restocking my website. I'm not sure if I'm going to restock it after this with these crystals because, you know, a girl got to keep her little stash for herself because, can sabe? But I'm going to be able to get some more in the future. And como que I want some for myself. I love the bling bling. But these are looking good. I wish these were my fucking nails. But pues I told myself that I'm not going to do pink. So a ver que color. Con que color salgo. So pretty much what I'm going to be doing to the other nails. Is I'm just going to add bling. Um, directly onto what the little line would be but I don't want to do it straight I'm gonna do like wiggly because in the recreational video the original one I mean the picture I did have just a diagonal line that was straight diagonally so I was like mm, girl no I want a little wiggly and right here I am using the pink opal crystals um, the light rose, the AB, and I want to say I use white opal, but a bitch is blind and I cannot fucking see that close. No, actually, no, I didn't use the white opal. And these are all from my little tiendita. Um, and again, they are not so rusty, but girl, look at that little sparkle. So fucking fire. I highly recommend them for those of you guys who are beginners and can't really afford the Swarovski crystals. Y mejor, if you're a beginner, don't even invest in Swarovski because you ain't even going to be able to buy them no more. I'm sad. So these are great quality and they are a lot cheaper than Swarovski. And I don't even want to talk about Swarovski no more because I'm going to get sad. But anyway, I hope you guys like this little video. Um, don't forget to give me a little like and leave me a little comment on what your favorite part of the nails were. Um, just leave me some type of comment so I can respond to you because I do like to chit chat um, and respond to some of y'all hoes. And if you're not subscribed already, make sure to subscribe to my little channel and keep on watching the rest of the video because it's not done yet. So 
the last part to this set were the little dots you're gonna be like bitch there was no fucking dots yeah there were go back and look so i'm using this gel polish because um i felt like it was the closest gel that would match to the pink but i don't want it to be exactly the same and it has a little bit of shimmer so i thought it was perfect and a little dotting tool so pretty much you just dip the little dotting tool on the gel and then just go dot 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 and that's it so it's supposed to go around the french so if you're not very good at doing french and como que todavía te sale medio mocho chuequito whatever this is a good disguise because this is what i used to do back in the day like it kind of makes it look perfect even if it wasn't so like you focus on the dots and not really on the fringe you know so there's a little tip bitch from what the things i used to do before <laughs> because girl i wanted them to look popping but my skill was not that great so yo tenia que hacer lo que se tenia que hacer para make it look like it's perfect so right here with the top coat bitch you can see that they look fucking bomb and this top coat girlfriend is so shiny it's like lip gloss for your nail so this is what the nails look like Ooh, honey those are so cute i could totally see these in a lot of other colors so if you do recreate this make sure to tag me on Insta on instagram and this is what the C-curve looks like, girlfriend. Alright, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!